Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jungle Survival with Yes Sir Nick. How are you guys doing today? On today's episode, uh, I promised that we were going to start working on my automated fish farm, so I want to keep up my end of the bargain on that one. But in addition with that, uh, between uh, recordings, I went through and I chopped down some more trees, so I got a whole bunch of jungle logs. What I was thinking is, I want to make this look even more like a giant tree. So now here in the jungle, you see a lot of these trees just go up and down, and not a lot of, uh, you know, horizontal uh, branches. You have some over there in the distance, but not a lot. Well, this is our big tree, and I want this to have kind of that look of being a ginormous tree. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the foundations for uh, another layer that's going to look like it's uh, on a tree branch. So I'm going to take it down a little bit farther, but I think I'm going to come out the back side here facing towards the ocean. So let's get that started. Um, start down here. So we have... Ooh, okay. Um, hmm. Didn't totally think this through. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, let's bring it down to about here, huh? No, there's another tree there, so maybe not the best. I mean, then again, there's kind of that natural... There's a natural branch formation. I think that's what we're going to go with. Okay, so we have to get up here. Drop that. I have some more vines. In addition to uh, making this a platform out here, what I thought, uh, or what I've uh, kind of imagined, is I'm also going to create like a stairwell so it spirals down around the trunk of this tree. I think that would be pretty cool to have to, to get down. The ladder is nice, but it's more function than beauty. And I want to get into a little bit more beauty at this point. All right, so let's chop down some of these leaves. We can use these for later. And let's build up this branch. some of those. Uh, maybe I'll come back down there later and pick those up. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Alright, so we're going to use the jungle log that I've gotten. And just kind of yeah, build it out. Make it a little bit longer than what it was before. Okay. I'll make it a little bit thicker. Give it a you know, just kind of a bigger vibe. Now, tree branches don't grow perfect, right? So we don't want it to be perfect. Um, they kind of get a little bit more shallow as they go down. And then don't worry, we're going to surround it with uh, leaves after. Make it look nice and pretty. Okay, get some of those there. Let's give it kind of an uneven, natural look. All right, what do you think? Does that look like a good base and a good platform? Go all the way down. We'll take a look and see what it looks like from down here. And pick up all my trash, or at least most of it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like a branch. Not necessarily even, just kind of going off in the distance. There's my ocelot. Um, let's do this too, because I want a nice view, we're going to cut down, let's cut this one down so that way it decays a little bit, um, gives it a little bit more of a fresh view. One of the things I'm looking at doing is clearing out a bunch of the trees in this area, so that way, it, like, my treehouse stands out the most. I think that'll be pretty cool. Okay, so gather some of those. Those will decay. Cool. Hmm, let's see. Let's chop down this tree over here. It's more of the wood. But mainly get the leaves to decay. Oh, that one went. Went further down than I expected. Oh, that's all right. 
Climb back up here some way, somehow. Okay. Grab that. So what do I got? So I've got a bunch of logs. That's good. This. If you can't, couldn't tell, or if you hadn't figured it out, yes, I died. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, killed by a creeper. But hey, good news is, I found melon! Yeah, the creeper kind of exploded things on me. Um... Okay, leave that one be. Let this clear out. Ooh, pick up some sticks. Get some saplings. Plant them over in a different spot. Alright. So let's go back up there. Because I like that, but now I want to cover it. Get some vines growing. And then come up here. Get some leaves jungle leaves there we go just gotta make it look bushy a little bit oh. this is the area that I'll make my uh, fish farm as well looks very flat well, you know what? It is a platform, so that's okay. Get some flatness around it. I have to. I guess I can mix some oak leaves. Let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, you can't tell the difference. All right. Okay, let's go to this side. Uh, put some there. I don't need them everywhere. Actually, get rid of that one. Alright, we'll see what it looks like from below later. Oh, let's do that. There we go. Make these come out a little bit. Connect them here. I guess that's alright. Okay. AFK fish farm, eh? So there's a few different ways to do this. Um... Oh, you know what? Okay. Ooh. I'm going to have to... Well, I guess I could build it down this way. So one thing with the AFK fish farm is you tend to get a lot of uh, junk, right? You get a lot of treasures or fish or just literally junk. Like, I think sometimes you can get, like, a boot or something like that. Um, uh, you know what I'll do is I'll build up. But... In order to do that, or to accommodate for that, wait, are you, uh, oh, okay, no, you're not. Um, in order to accommodate for that, you need to have extra chests, and you need to have, um, oh, what are those things called? The, uh, hoppers. So, do I have, I have enough iron for a hopper, and I have plenty of, plenty of wood for chests, so that's not a concern. Keep my jungle planks to make some oak logs. Oh, yeah, I added plenty of those. Make a whole bunch of chests. So we have eight there. We'll do four. Oop. Not going to have enough. Okay, so I have enough for one. Okay, well, this is going to be one of those. Then we're just going to expand out later. Which is okay. So I'll need this one hopper for my farm. Let's go back upstairs to the main base and get a couple of items that I will need. But yeah, I think having a la like a not a ladder, but a a nice stairwell going around. They'll just make it look pretty. And maybe I'll do it out of uh, half slabs so that way it'll just step up nicely. We'll figure that out. Make the trunk a little bit bigger. I think all those will be good. Alright, so this is or this is the materials I've put here. Oh, I need a couple more things. Let's Put our hopper here. I actually don't need the string and I don't need the tripwire hook. Not for this variation at least. Okay. Alright, let's 
clear out my inventory a little bit. Oop, but not by throwing things away, because that would be wasteful. Clear some of those, clear some of those. Ooh, I have enough string for a bed. Okay. I know, I'm getting distracted. Sorry, guys. At least I think I have it. No, darn, I need one more. Okay. No, can I? I'm pretty sure I need three. So I need one more. I don't have any there. I don't have any there. Not, but I do have more iron, so that's good. And I've been making my bricks. Making my way downtown. Walk. Oh, wait, wrong song. Okay. Mm, put those there. Got paper. Put away jungle leaves. I got plenty of jungle leaves. That's good to know. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Put my chest. Sorry, I'm just going to take a second to organize my inventory. You can go there. I only need one of those and one of those. Okay, so the next thing I also need, I need another trap door, which I'm pretty sure I make by doing that. Yep, there we go. Double set of trap doors. Okay. Now. How far of a drop is it? Okay, good. Cool. Caught me on there. Let's build this out of jungle wood. And... Build it up a little bit. Make it look like we had the tree branch. But then I decided to build around the tree branch. You know what I mean? So we'll take it out a little bit. So we will need a clear view of the sky. Keep the leaves in there. Going regular old uh, Robinson Crusoe on this, right? So now I need to make this look like that connects. Can't just have, you know, floating blocks. It's not good, right? Using the jungle wood. So we'll put those up there. Oop, almost fell off. That would have been bad. Falling off is no good. Yeah, don't worry, I have plenty of leaves, so when I break these leaves, it's not massive concern right now. Okay. So there, now that looks good. Let's put down a couple torches, just so that way mobs don't spawn here for now. And... How do I want to do this? Decisions, decisions. I can either go with oak to raise it up a little bit, because I want to take it up an, at least another layer um, to hide our treasure chest. So let's do, yeah, let's mix it up. Let's see how this looks. I can always fix it later. Oops, sorry, Torch, I know I just laid you down, but. I changed my mind. Same goes for you, bub. Okay, so that's going to be a nice box to start. Um, Let's see, so I would put chest here, and then I would put in a hopper there, and then next up, I'll put in another chest. There we 
go. So get that ready. And how many chests I do? I I usually go like three and then just toss out the junk. Um so we can do that. Let's Ooh, do I have any glass? I don't know if I have glass yet. I haven't made any glass. Hmm. That's because I haven't done much work on my house. Oh, lazy neck, lazy, lazy. All right, so I'm going to make these corners jungle. Just give them some eh, variation in color. Make it look like a, a pillar, you know? All right, let's see. one nice thing about playing Minecraft you know you can you don't always have to like what you make and you can always change it I think I'll go one more up you know what I'll do is I'll make this my chest I'll have two for now I can always change it later all right Let's make a crafting table, and actually, you know, I want to save my jungle wood, so let's use oak. Well, I guess I could create... Oh, well, too late now. Put this right there, so I'm going to fill most of that in. Let's do that, make a bunch of those. Let's do all of those. Okay. Yes, I'm using half slabs. So with half slabs, the one nice thing is that you can cover the same amount of space with half the amount of materials. So you, when you, if you notice, when I made the half slabs, it took three, but it gave me six because obviously half, or like if you double uh, three, that gives you six. I mean, that's you know, math, right? Um, so when you cut something in half, you get two halves of the one hole. But in doing this and placing it down this way, this gives me the opportunity to cover more, uh, more surface volume. There you go. Talking the math language again. And I'll keep that there because I like to have a little drop down from there. Sorry, torch. Now I could have done this a different way um, to where I made the uh, everything one like half step down and that prevents mobs from spawning but I'm gonna light this up enough so that way I don't have issues with that okay, have a few more of those oh, there we go grab those how am I with these I got those. I got a dollar, I got a dollar, I got a dollar, hey, 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 hey. Okay, yeah, it was a little juvenile. I'll not disagree on that one. Ooh, you know what? We're going to have to raise that up. Raise the roof. Well, actually, you know what? All of this space in here. Oh, figure it out. Okay, Ooh, wrong button. My bad. Let's see. Sometimes you gotta wreck it, right? I'm gonna wreck it. So my kids got the uh, new Wreck It Ralph movie. Good movie. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you see it. And if you are watching this in the future, um, hey, it's still a good movie. So watch it. It was a wreck it Ralph 2. Ralph breaks the internet. Okay, so let's fill in the rest of these half slabs. Do 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 do. I have no idea how this is going to look, so bear with me. Um, if you hate it, yeah, constructive, nice feedback is always appreciated.
Not feedback of I hate it. But hey, you do you. Oh, lightning. Twas the lightning before the thunder. I think that's how that song goes, I don't know. So that was, uh, um, what was that band? Oh, Imagine Dragons, that's right. So they're a thing now, they're they're hit. Uh, or they have a couple of hits, and then I think they played the uh, halftime show at the National Championship game for the college football playoffs. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, I'm not one to where I necessarily watch a ton of college football. Oh, well, that was weird. I don't watch a ton of college football, but I, uh, yeah, I enjoy it every once in a while. And then watching the national championship game is, that's nice. That is some loud lightning. Ooh, brother. Oop, yeah, a, there we go. Okay, getting closer. Well, that happened. I feel like there's a whole bunch of empty space down there. Somebody's going to get mad. Somebody's going to watch this video and they're going to be like, Nick, what the heck are you doing with all that empty space? Okay, so now I have to put my hopper here, I believe. And then I need to build up some more. Um, let's do this part in jungle wood. So bear with me just a moment. I'm going to work my way through this and get my recollection back up. Okay, so I put... Okay, all right. So um, let's finish building the outside. So here's what's going to happen. With this episode, I am going to do all of the setup for the, uh, the fish farm. And then I'm going to stop the recording... I'm then going to do a little mini recording, kind of as a tutorial, and then I'll come back and show you guys how uh, how it looks at the end. Because we're, we're definitely getting towards that 20 minute mark where I like to keep my videos. So bear with me just, uh, well for you guys it'll be instantaneous, but uh, I'm going to make my little mini video for the tutorial. So if you want to see how I made this, um, I'll have a, uh, a little mini episode in between that'll be available for anybody to watch as a tutorial so i'll be right back Alrighty, guys i'm back uh appreciate your patience i know for you it'll be like an instant second but for me it was probably about an hour or so uh i actually went through and made an episode so the or not the episode but i made the tutorial that'll be up in addition to to this episode so just keep an eye out for that within the series um but yeah this is uh, the afk fish farm right now it's in a very basic state i am going to want to make it look pretty but uh it was something as simple as uh, taking a note block putting an iron uh a trap door on it uh, putting a pressure plate on top of a f wooden fence putting down a trap door and then having a hopper going in i've already caught about three fish the way this works once you have it all set is you cast your line and then you press and hold your uh, right mouse button or whatever button you have set on your key binding for uh, using items and it works just like that and then you know what you do is you could either put down some tape on your mouse for a while or I just put down something a little bit heavy just enough to, to hold on to uh, hold on to the button and with this being a single player server I won't necessarily get kicked for AFKing for a while so I could actually let this go um, I'd let it go until the fishing pole breaks or fish um, but in a server you know it's just every so often if they have afk settings on or uh, disconnecting after 30 minutes then you'll just have to go in and you know move around every so often but i will sit here for a little bit enjoy the view uh, you know watch out in the background look at the ocean see the moon coming up as i facing towards the east so be out here all night just enjoy the sun uh, the sunrise and the stars going by. It's great things. 
All right. Well, this is probably going to get kind of boring for you, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up rating. Feel free to leave any comments that would help this series get better. And, uh, hey, I appreciate you spending some time with me. You have a great day.